welcome back to superstar glam in today's video i'm bringing you this holiday look i was definitely inspired in the red tones of the jeffree star jawbreaker palette and i feel that it was super easy in my opinion i don't think that it required too much techniques to achieve this look but before we jump into the tutorial if you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the little button down below and become part of the Superstar Glam Squad family. While you're there, also click the little notification bell. That way you are alerted every time I upload a video. And if you're interested in this look, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I've already done my face and I've primed my eyes. So all we're going to do is jump into uh, the eye look. Okay, and for this look, I think I'm going to be jumping into this palette, the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, only because when looking into this palette, you may see a lot of vibrant colors, which it is a, like a really vibrant palette, but it also has a lot of like really nice deep tones in here like the raspberry shade so i think that's kind of the look i'm going for something more like monochromatic to match my my top i tend to do that i don't know if you've noticed uh in most of my looks i tend to be inspired with either the top i'm wearing or the top I'm pl i plan to wear and even if i i if i start off by use doing my eyes I tend to wear something that that matches my eyeshadow. I get that from my mom. To this day, my mom loves to coordinate her outfits to match her eyeshadow. I'm going to start with the shade called Good Morning. And I'm taking it on this fluffy brush. This is the Essence Eye Blender brush. It's one of those light shades, like a skin color shades. So you're really not going to see it appear. I'm using this to set the base. There's another shade in here. It's called Cone. It's really pretty, like a peachy color. It kind of reminds me of Peaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. With this color, I'm just being really sloppy and just blowing it out on my eye because again, it's the color that's going to help blend all the other colors together. I'm going to start with that color that I was drawn to, which is the raspberry shade. I'm trying to go in there lightly and start slowly building it up just because I don't want to go in with a lot of product and either have fallout issues or uh, placement because I can't erase. In this step, I like to look at a mirror straight ahead and make sure that it's even on both sides. This usually is the eye that's a little bit higher. And this one kind of droops a little bit more. So I try to bring the eyeshadow a little bit higher just so that it kind of evens out my eyes. And that's why I love makeup. We all have imperfections. We all have things we don't like. There's always one eye wonkier than the other one, the eyebrow, whatever it is. But the power of makeup makes you transform create illusions um, try to come close to making things look even even if they're not there's a color in here and it's not black it is a really dark navy it's called delicious and i think i'm going to use this to help deepen out the outer and i'm taking a morphe m408 it's just a really uh, like a really small flat brush and I love that it just uh, blending those two colors it kind of instead of being like a dark color it brings in like this like deep purple 
I'm gonna go in with a smaller like little detail brush. This is the Carity E30. I'm gonna take this shade called Licorice. Now this is a really like bright red, like a true red color. This is a, such a really hard color to pull off just because um, it's usually a really, like it's either not pigmented or it's uh, patchy. So this is really the first time I'm trying it out. And again, I'm just bringing in more red tones because I want this to look more like a burgundy um, look than a plummy look that it was starting to look, to look like. And all I'm doing is I'm using it to go over. It's kind of like the color that I'm using to melt that other, that raspberry shade and the, and the navy. I don't know if you could tell, so it looks way more reddish, like burgundy. And then over here is starting to look a little more purple. So I love this. And it's working really, really nicely with the other colors. I'm going to go in with it, that Essence fluffy brush and not putting any more product onto it. And all I'm doing is I just want to go over the edges to blend it out okay now i'm going back onto what do we say that color was called licorice so i'm taking this brush this is the bh cosmetics v20 it's really really tiny little like blending brush and i think i'm going to take tasty i feel like it looks like a neutral brown not too warm and not too cool tone I think it's like a perfect balance and I'm gonna use this to kind of bring in some dimension just extending the crease area so it almost creates more like a shadow and then there's two colors in here that I don't know which one to go with this one's like really really yellow but it's really pretty it's like a really um, shimmery yellow that one is called a lemon drop but there's a color in here called jawbreaker which is a really really pretty like it looks like it's white but when you apply it it has that gold shift to it like that gold base so I think that's what I'm going to use to uh, apply all over the lid kind of like a cut crease a half cut crease I want it to its full intensity uh, color payoff so I'm going to use fix plus I'm going to go back to raspberry and I'm using the carity e30 and I'm just going to use it here on the outer and I'm just going to slowly bring it inward just a little bit and then I'm going to use the shade licorice licorice and I'm going to tap that color with jawbreaker just to help blend that out I still want that like red tone to pop through so I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Liner. I'm just going to do like a really small like wing liner. I'm going to go in with a coat of mascara. I'm using the Milani High, Highly Rated 10 in 1 Mascara. Before I do go in with false lashes, I think I'm going to continue finishing up the eye. Uh, I'm going to go into the inner corner with the this um, MAC eyeshadow. It's the eyeshadow in nylon. I feel that this was like kind of like a cult favorite when it came to the inner corner highlight. For the lower, I'm going to go back to Delicious, which is that navy color. And I'm going to pop it right on top of my lashes, like right in that little corner. I'm gonna wipe down this 
brush and I'm going to go in with raspberry and I'm just going to go over that navy color and start buffing it out and then now with that same brush I'm wiping it down again and I'm going to take licorice and I'm going to be careful and use this to kind of go to on the outer edge to help bring back like that red tone but I still want to keep it in this area without it blending out too low and I'm only keeping it like half of the eye outer corner and then I'm wiping it down one last time and I'm gonna take that brown shade called tasty and I'm gonna use this to bring into the inner inner but I'm also buffing it to meet the outer and help blend all that out. I'm gonna go in with a really tiny little brush and I'm gonna take the shade Jawbreaker. I just wanna bring it in, it's kind of like connecting that like really inner corner and then blending it to that inner corner highlight. Okay, so I'm going to put on some false lashes and I'll be back to show you the finished look. So this is the completed look. I went ahead and just applied a nude lip. It's an oldie but a goodie that I used to be obsessed with. Um, I even have a backup of this color and it is the dose of color liquid lipstick in the shade truffle i think it's like the perfect little pinky nude lip and then i line my lips with the nyx suede matte lip liner in the shade mason that's pretty much it i really hope that you enjoyed this holiday look that i created using the jeffree star jawbreaker palette don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Bye.